We know water through very simple steps. All we're used to is turning on a tap and having water pour out. Or when we flush a toilet and the water disappears. But how does the water here in Toronto find its way from Lake Ontario to our homes? We're here at the F.J. Horgan Waste Water Treatment Plant. And the manager, Ian Chin, has something to say about this particular plant. We are a unique feature of the Horgan plant. We're one of the two in the city that are direct filtration. The other two actually have to have sedimentation tanks and screening. We don't have that here. Um, so we're considered to be a direct filtration plant because we don't have those features. And now for the steps of the water treatment process here in Toronto. Intake pipes reach into Lake Ontario collecting raw water. In some areas of the city, large intake pipes extend up to 5 kilometers offshore. The length and size of the city's treatment plant's intake pipe is based on the plant's rated production capacity and the projected quality of the incoming water. At the entrance of the plant, they'll use traveling screens to get rid of large objects and debris. Traveling screens are installed to remove large site particles and are the first stage of the water treatment process in some of the city's water treatment plants. These raw water pumps are the step after the screening and before pre-chlorination. Chlorine is added to the water to kill microorganisms. The unique feature of the Horgan water treatment plant is that we've just installed ozonation system for primary disinfection. It's still under commissioning right now, but we would be the only one in the city in a few months to have ozonation as our disinfectant. Alum is added to cause the small particles to clump together. The chemicals are mechanically mixed into the water to form large particles called flocks. In settling tanks, heavy flock will drop out of the water then be removed. Cleaner water is left at the surface to be drawn off through spillways which lead to filtering basins. The particles you see floating on the surface of the filter are the flock. They come from the flocculation system. Filters are made of layers of sand, carbon or anthracite. Sand removes bits of flock, algae, and silt. Other impurities are also removed. The layer of carbon removes taste and odor producing chemicals. The layer of gravel was replaced with an under drain system. It's actually a mock up of our actual filter. So you'll see there's a layer of GAC or granule activated carbon sitting on the layer of sand. And then it filters through and it goes into the treatment system. Before being distributed, the purified water goes into holding bases. A safe amount of chlorine is added to kill the remaining microorganisms. The City of Toronto also adds fluoride to help prevent cavities. The city's primary reason for fluoridation is for the prevention of cavities as mandated by the city's medical officer. So this pipe carries fluoride into our system and this one delivers the chlorine. Ammonia combines with the remaining chlorine to keep the water safe on its journey from the treatment plant to our home. We're lucky to have such an efficient water treatment process here in Toronto. Lake Ontario, which is the city's intake supply, is ranked in the top five sources of drinking water provincially. The water that comes out of our taps, as you can see, is at the best it's been. <clears throat> the city's water treatment plants produce water that meets or exceeds the requirements of the Ministry of Environment's Safe Drinking Water Act. Toronto Water's vision is to be a leader in achieving excellence and efficiency in all aspects of water service delivery. Thank you, Toronto.